In 1937, Key Underwood of Tuscobia, Alabama, had the painful task of laying to rest his faithful coonhound troop. The spot he chose was a small grassy meadow in the Freedom Hills area of northern Alabama. Troop knew the place well since most of his hunting trips began and ended there. This well-known spot was where coon hunters from the area gathered to discuss hunting strategies, swap tails, and compare coon hounds. Most comparisons usually began and ended with Troop. He was well known as the best around. <coughs> On that dreary Labor Day nearly 70 years ago, Underwood dug a three foot deep hole and put Troop in a cotton sack. Underwood took a rock out of an old chimney and took a hammer and screwdriver and put his name on it. Out of this one hunter's devotion to his coon hound was born the Key Underwood Coon Dog Memorial Graveyard, which is the only cemetery of its kind in the world. More than 170 dogs have been laid to rest here, but to qualify for burial in this unique cemetery, three requirements must be met. The owner must claim their pet is an authentic coon dog. A witness must declare the deceased is a coon dog. And finally, a member of the local coon hunters organization must be allowed to view the coon hound and declare it as such. Today, many veteran hunters defend the tradition of coon hunting, saying that the new method of catching the animals, luring them into traps, is unfair. Part of the sport was to give the coon a chance. He'd jump him and he could get away. Sometimes you'd hold the old dogs back since they had the experience to catch the coons and that gave the young ones a chance to learn. In the old days, coons used to sell for 10 to 12 dollars a hide. Some even barbecued them, but I've heard it's the worst meat you'll ever eat. What hunters love most now is getting out with your friends, telling lies, and bragging on your dog. I've missed work many times, being up too late hunting or looking for the dogs the next morning, but I've always got a good story to tell. You might have a lot of troubles today, but when you and your buddies get out there in the woods and hear the dogs run, it doesn't much matter anymore.